A Knox County veteran says Congressman Tim Burchett saved his life. Army vet Bobby Barnes was choking when the East Tennessee lawmaker came to his rescue. Today, Barnes shared the story with us about how it all unfolded. Six on your side's Elizabeth Kubel talked to him about that. Elizabeth. Yes, I did, Lori. He smiled and laughed as he told the story today, but really, this was no laughing matter. Barnes said he couldn't breathe until Burchett intervened. Army veteran Bobby Barnes snapped these pictures at a Veterans Day celebration last week. Sitting right across the table from him was Congressman Tim Burchett. Turns out it was meant to be. Tim jumps up and comes around over. He, you know, he asked, he asked me, was it all right? I said, I told him, told him no. So he, uh, you know, started doing the Hamlet on uh, me. Barnes was choking on his food and says he was struggling to breathe before Burchett stepped in. Yeah, I was like, <gasps> you okay, know, you know how you do. But anyway, uh, he's, uh, he came over and done it and got me filmed, you know, I could breathe. Burchett recalls the Friday encounter too and tells us why he jumped in to help. I guess that for a second there, I thought, well, is somebody going to do something? And I remember a guy, some guy patted him on the back, and and, and I realized that he was he really was choking. So I ran around the, the table, and um, I put my arms around him, and he was still sitting down. And I, I gave him three quick pulls, and on the third one, he you could he 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 exhaled, and you could tell he was. He's like, I'm okay. And because of that, Barnes says he believes the congressman saved his life. When you're in a position like that and you can't can't breathe and, and you know, he, yeah, I really did. I told him, I said, Tim, I saw him jokingly, but you know, but like, uh, but, I, but he really did. I, I mean, uh, I couldn't breathe. And Burchett also told me he has never done the Heimlich maneuver before, nor does he know that he's ever even practiced it. He says he was just at the right place at the right time. Lori. Oh, just jumped in there. Elizabeth, thank you so much. And everyone, if you need a reminder about how to help someone who's choking, we will post a guide from the American Red Cross with this story on WATE.com.